So people, I am back with another amazing cyberpunk video, people, and I'm pretty sure you will agree when you see this. Have you ever wanted to play this game as Pan Am? Well check this out. Look at that people, Pan Am is my V, my V is Pan Am. Now, we'll state this incredible creation was put together by four individual people. Lara Croft 101, Don Me, I believe that's pronounced, Willie JW and Silver. All four of these you will see on screen now. Credit to each and every one of these people. Now, what I will state is this can, well, her face, her looks, her features can be created on any platform. It's just only on PC will you be able to get her hair, her complexion and her clothing. But if you just want your character to look like Panem and use another hairstyle, you can. That's You can do that on any platform, Xbox, PlayStation or Stadia. But on PC, you get the full, the full package, people. The full package. Now, the actual, the looks and that of Panem was put together by a person called Lara Crafter 101. All these people, by the way, I found via Nexus mods. But yeah, Lara Crafter 101 created the looks of Panam. It looks absolutely incredible. Now it's probably best we go into photo mode because let's get a bit of light for this. Let's get a bit of light for this. Look, it looks unreal. It looks absolutely spawn. So yeah, the looks, the actual looks of Panam putting the face together was by someone called Lara Croft 101. And at the end of the video guys, I'll show you how you can basically create your V to look exactly like this. Um, the hairstyle, was made by Willie JW, absolutely perfecto. Uh, the complexion was by Dunmi, I believe that's pronounced, D-U-N-M-R. And the clothes were modded into the game by a guy called Silver. Uh, his full name, I can't pronounce it, it's Silver Ezrudez, I believe that's, Ezrudez. I believe that's pronounced, we can see him on screen now. He modded the clothing, clothes into the game. And what's happened is, the clothes have actually been modded in as Johnny's clothes. They can earn these legitly by getting a, well, by their means in game. Can't remember what they are. I think they may be within the chipping in mission. There may be a gig for the trousers somewhere. I can't remember. I actually got these by using the command console, cyber engine tweaks. But to be honest, you don't need these. You can have a look in however you want. So I had to put uh, my nudity filter on people because my, my character's always got a got a thing about just getting naked so what have we got here we've got full netrunner costumes if that's what you like i mean that's how we can roll like that people we can roll like that i mean you don't have to have her wearing her clothes you can have her wearing what else we got here what else we got here we got a blue one that's pretty cool too rocking that pan am booty that's pretty badass and um, we have let's just get rid of that we've got clothing we've got a full dress here I mean, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. But like I said, this is, I'm um, literally, I've just completed the prologue. Just got back to, well, Misty just literally escorted me back to my, um, my dorm, my room. So yeah, I've got a lot of, this is my third playthrough on PC. So I'm literally just, I wanted to create another character just to do it as Panam. So there we go. What else we got? What we got here? We got, we got a bandage, people. You like that shit? <laughs> Um, we've got cool glasses. We can have a look in. Pretty badass like that too. I mean, like I said, you know, you can, you can, the clothes you can get in this game are unreal. There's tons of them. You can, basically, if you want to put a hat on her, you wouldn't even see the hair. So, like I said, if you're playing on console, you can still kind of do this. You can get her looks, but you're just going to miss her hair, her complexion, and her clothing, which, again, are Johnny Silverhand's clothing. Uh, there we go and there we go so like the dude silver he modded these clothes and you can install them on PC um, so yeah once you install them in PC by putting them in a certain folder which I'll show you like I said then once you earn them or if you use the command console cyber engine tweaks you can just basically straight up give them your character from the very very start but my Pan Am looks absolutely incredible, people! Look at that, look at that, look at that, that, that! Look at that, look at that, look at that, that, that! Now we are just gonna quickly, because there's nothing... Oh, like I said, you can't... 
really see your character in any third person instances, otherwise I'd just complete a mission with her. There's not much you can do, but like I said, she does look absolutely incredible. It's just a face, the face is absolutely spot on. Lara Croft 101 got it down to a T. Perfect. Pop pop. <laughs> and the hair, the hair just. It is, I think, I don't know how you extracted the hair of Panem's head and add it into the game, but yeah. You know what I'll do guys is I'll just, because uh, I actually already created a video of where you actually create her Panam and how you do it on PC, this, that and the other, so I'll play that in a quick second. But guys, if you do enjoy this video and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. I do hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you on that next one. So to create the perfect Panem, and again massive shout out to Lara Croft 101 for the looks, Dunmere for the Panem complexion, Willie JW for Panem's hair, and Silver Ezridez for the clothing set. Now I will add you can use a save editor to change your current visa lock as long as it's a female V, but it is important to first back up your original save. To do this via the save file, I will link the save editor down below and you will get all the details you need. But also down below will be linked to Panem's hair, Panem's complexion and the file in which you will need if you do plan on using the save file. If you plan on creating a new female V, use a guide you'll see on screen in a second and copy what I select. Again this can be done on console but you won't have the complexion nor the hairstyle nor will you be able to get the clothes. So to install the Panem hairstyle, complexion and to get her clothes, it's pretty simple. Download the files I've linked in the video description, locate your Cyberpunk PC folder, I do this using Steam as you can see on screen now, but if you play on GOG or Epic, paths also can be seen on screen now. Once you've found this folder, go into the archive folder, then into PC and just drag the downloaded hair, complexion and clothing files into the patch folder. If the patch folder doesn't exist for you, simply create one and put the mods in there. Note the complexion file replaces complexion 1 for female Vs. The hair replaces the hair 1 for female Vs. And at this time you can't change your hair colour. The clothing files replace Johnny's clothing items but have absolutely no effect on Johnny's uh, model at all. He's still wearing his same clothes. You can use a console command to get these clothes in game if you play on PC or you can earn them in game via the usual means that's completely up to you. The console command I use is Cyber Tweaks, which I'll also link within the video description if you do want to check that out. So once you are done there guys, follow as I do on screen now and just copy the steps, it's really that simple. Now like I said, if you want to edit an already created female V to look like Panam, you will have to use the save editor, but at the same time still apply those mod files to that patch folder. And guys, I will leave you now to watch this video and I hope you enjoy it. Again, thanks to all the modders from Nexus who made this possible. Lara Croft 101, Dunmere, Willie JW and Silver. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, leaving a like really helps out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.